that shit up a little more, you all. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to On The Spot Podcast. It's your boy, Lo. It's your boy, Nas Boogie. And welcome to another episode of On The Spot, man. Tell me what we talking about today. Kwa Louie. Yeah, I, I, I ain't going to lie, bro. We got to talk about them legends, my nigga. Bro, that song hit the same every time. Yeah, now nah, Rated R, like, if you know, you know. When that shit came out, he had the streets, my nigga. And he said he had a dream with Martin Luther King in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah. Like, what is really the yeah. mix? <laughs> man, Kwalubi was special, bro. I ain't going to hold you, man. I, I think I think this is something that we, we need to call Fallen Soldiers. For sure. Uh, today, I definitely want to... Kwalubi started, f- for sure, but I, I want to talk about a lot of people that didn't get the chance to make it to where we know they definitely would have gone. Yeah. I want to give flowers to... To people that, that aren't here and, and they respect. Because to be honest with you, a lot of people we talk about today are Jersey legends. For sure. I don't sure. like it or not, regardless of if you listen to the music or not, these are Jersey legends. And they definitely played a part in the influence of a lot of the niggas we hear today. Nah, for sure. For sure. And uh, to begin with, we should start with Louis. Hell yeah. I, I ain't going to lie, bro. Go ahead, son. Just to start, like, his impact was crazy. Yeah. Like... If you know, like you said, if you know, you know. Mm. Kwalui had this shit in a headlock. Yeah. Man. Like, it was to a point where we wasn't checking for nobody else. Yeah, for sure, shit. for like, sure. Like, yo, when Louie dropping? Yeah. Like, and it's like, yo, bro, the talent Louie had. Louie was on another level already at a young age, bro. Yeah. At a young age. So it's like, for Jersey to lose somebody like Louie, we, we lost something real special, bro. For sure. I don't know if people realize it, but I, I know. And I knew when it happened, like, yo, we lost something. Great. I ain't gonna lie. I think everybody felt that. Yeah. That was fake, like a shockwave in Jersey. Like, nah, what? Yeah. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, these are all regular people. But yeah. Louis was like one of them people that's like, I don't care who you are. If you in Jersey and you was in the rap, you knew like, yo, now that boy gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Louis was something different, yeah. bro. From hottest in America, a lot of bars. Like, the army. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Seven like, up, splash, everything bro. he was dropping was that, bro. Heat. Heat. And you could tell, like, there's certain people you could just tell by the aura, by the way they carry themselves. And he had, he had everything already, bro. Yeah. Versatility at a young age, bro. Yeah, he had, had the a, swag. Everything. He had, the, he had everybody pushing him. He had the right niggas behind him. And it was like, it was no telling where he was going to take that shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't going to... That, that boy was a star, yo. For sure. I, we, we, we definitely missing Louis every day, bro. Like, every day to... And you can hear his influence in a lot of our favorite artists. A hundred percent. Mind you, after he passed, you saw the effect it had. You seen Big Moose with Dear Kwa Louie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, niggas, everybody was coming together. I think, not even I think, but the Persian America song, mm-hmm. that dropped after Louis died. And, yeah. they, and they show him his, his condolences in the song and in the video. But it's like, it wasn't the same. Yeah. You feel me? And it was like, you feel that. Yeah. And I, it, it's like, at the time, I was hurting for them because it's like, yo, I'm just a fan, but y'all know this nigga. You right. feel me? And it was it was even worse to see his mom going through it. Especially because yeah. she was so, you know, outspoken on social media. So it was like, we got, to, we got to see her feelings and how she actually felt about it. And it was like, every day she was posting something new and it was like, that shit was hurting, bro. And I didn't even know Louis personally. Yeah. So it was like, you could yeah. feel it. like Because you you get in, you was getting a look into his life. He, yeah. Seeing his mom, his mother posting his little sister and stuff like that. And yeah. That hurt, bro. Nah, I hurt to the core, actually. Like, that shit hurt. And, it's, to leave, and he left us with such a great song, bro. Rated R was amazing. Yeah. Bro. Mind the you, that video, dropped right before he passed. Amazing, but When it bro. came out, it was like... Damn. Yo, nah, who the fuck is this? Yeah, like, yeah, that was the one. Like, he was out of here, bro. He was out of here. He's one of them ones that, honestly, I, I think, 
I don't, I don't know what caused that, but I wish things would have gone a different way because if he was still here right now, the Jersey rap scene would be looking totally different in my opinion. We would be A-OK. We would have made it already. We would be A-OK. -okay. He was the one. <laughs> For yo. sure. For, For sure. sure. Like, we all knew that as a state. Yeah. Like, we got one. For sure. Rest in peace, Kwa Louie, man. Rest in peace, Kwa Louie, for sure, man. Honestly, I, I want to give a shout-out to Ed Moolah because he was with him during that whole run. Yeah. We seen Kwa face, we seen Ed. For sure. So to see that happen, I can only imagine how that affected him. And it's like, honestly, I, 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 would, like to, I would like to see him come back out and make music and stuff like that, but I, I know that... That could fuck with you. I could only imagine. I could understand that shit not the same, bro. Yeah. It's not the same. You grow up doing something with your brother and he ain't here no more. Yeah. The passion, you probably just lose it, but maybe he just need to take it out in his music. For sure, for sure. Honestly, I mean, we, we still see Big Moose out here. Right. Doing his thing. Right. Putting on. So as long as they keep putting on for Louie and doing what they supposed to do, man. For sure. We're going to be all right. Kwa Louis, man. Nah, rest in peace, Kwa Louis, for sure, man. But shit, with that being said, I definitely want, I, I want, I want to kick it off to this next artist. Another one of my favorites when, when it comes to this Jersey rap shit. Another legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let the music speak for itself. Man, I want to give a big shout out to our first ever sponsor, Park Legends. Park Legends is an esports company that's focused on creating a community for gamers to make money while playing their favorite games. Definitely. Shout out to them, man. And it, this event will be great, man. It will be free food, drinks. And also a chance to win a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's only fifty dollar entry too. Thousand dollars, bro. So if you play two K, if you don't play two K, this ain't for you. Stay at the crib. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If you ask, don't slide. Like type low, shit. But we gonna talk about <laughs> 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 type shirt. Niggas be ass. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. But nah, definitely pull up, man. We gonna be in the building. I'm gonna be in the building. I'm rocking. Hell yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. I'm rocking too. I ain't, I ain't all that nice, but I still rock. So I'm saying it's for nah. bread. Yeah, it's not. for bread. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. You <laughs> feel, you feel? I don't give a fuck, okay? You're not that good. But I am, though. No, so I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely in the building, man. Hey, yo. Like you said, like bro said, $50 of entry, $10 for spectators, and they're doing a special promo code just for our viewers. Yeah, and it's 15 on the page. It's on the page. Our link is in the bio. 15% off. Just click the link in the bio, man. Like he said, we'll be, we'll be there slot. $1,000, man. $1,000 to play Word. 2K? Word. Pop out. Come on, bro. Do your thing. Show out, because I'm going to show out. For sure, for I'm sure. Gonna show bro. Out. Like bro said, big shouts out to Park Legends, man. For sure. My hood, face down with ass up. Damn. Uh, fucking the back up. Can't say no more, this you need back up. Uh -huh. I be fucking your bitch, nigga, ask her. If she working, I'm whipping the Mac up. Just throwing fuck, nigga, back up. I can't fuck with these niggas, they cap. I can't fuck with these niggas, they actors. All my niggas, those stickers, we strapped up. And they trapped till I run up, I sat up. I don't know what I want, so I rack up. If a nigga run up, he get clapped up. And my gun up on me, ain't no pack of me. And my shooters, they come with good accuracy. And I know that these fuck niggas after me. I be dim, I let niggas see lacking me. And my niggas, we roll up that wood. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Great. I'm out there drug Joker, he riding the mud Nigga run up, he get bugged Nigga, so don't shut him up My nigga talking them slug Put that nigga dead on the rug Man, I that ain't going <laughs> That shit still go that hard today, nigga Crazy, yo oh. I ain't gonna lie, bro I wanna start it off by saying Rest in peace, Rock Guns Another Jersey legend in this rap shit And he wasn't even He wasn't even here long enough to see the reaction that he got from that song and how people, I know people showed him love, but like he was a different type of rapper, bro. He had the same, I don't want to compare him, but he had the same effect as a quality. He was special, bro. Yeah, and everybody knew the it. The sound, it was different. He didn't mm -hmm. sound like everybody. He was in his own lane and yeah. he was walking shit. Yeah. I was in that water. <laughs> <laughs> Dive into, into the, the ocean. ocean. Come <laughs> on. It <was> hard. <laughs> I can fit <it> float. <laughs> Yo, bro, we was yeah. really talking. Yo, bro, rest in peace, Rod Gun. Rod Guns was special. And like you said, he didn't even get to see his potential. Yeah. Like, he was going to be out of here, yeah. bro. Yeah, and I don't even know if he knew it, but I'm sure everybody around him knew it. Niggas saw it. Motherfuckers right. knew what that was standing right there. Like, bro, that was that was a star. And it's sad. It's sad how life works sometimes. Like, some of the, some of the greatest people, some, some people who have really, really good talents, they don't live long enough to... To, to, see, to it. see it. And a, another thing that's like, it's sad because when he was alive, I wasn't really a fan of his music because like I said, I was tapped out of Jersey music mm -hmm. for a while. 
So it's like for me to, after he passed, to start listening his, to his music and seeing how great he actually was, it hurt more because it was like, why didn't I support this shit when he was alive? That's true. I mean, yeah. so it hurt. So it's like, but to see him, see him go out like that, that shit is sad, man, because he was definitely going to make it. Hell yeah. And his effect on even like a bundles. Mm -hmm. Bundles, you know, when he died, when Rock Guns died, Bundles took that shit and ran. Like, he yeah. put his name on his back yeah. and really carried it. So 100%. Like, I respect Bundles for that 100%. For to this day, you'll, you'll still see it. Like, you'll see the doom. Or, like, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll shot his name out in his song because that was, that was his bro. That was his man. Yeah. Yeah. So to lose somebody like that, I respect the fact that he took that and he's going as hard as he is right now. Yeah. He didn't just keep rapping and now nah, he asked, nah. He said Bundles it, top five out of Jersey. Yeah, he said it. The only one to do it better, the Doom. Yeah, the that's a fact. The only one to do it that's better, the Doom. So Yo. shout out Bundles, man. Rest in peace, Rock Guns, man. Hell yeah. Yo, after he passed away, that video eclipsed 250,000 views, bro. God damn. Mind you, that's not just Jersey watching that shit. Yeah, that's, that's all around, you yeah, feel me? Man. Motherfuckers was really tapping into the talent that he was. Like, yo, nah, this boy was special, yo. For sure. Even on his Instagram. Like, he didn't get the chance to release too, too many songs, but motherfuckers is taking them Instagram snippets and putting them on YouTube. Like, the uh, the song he got with Joker G, Hello Baby? Yeah. That's on YouTube right now. Like, the little yeah, unreleased yeah. snippet or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, people still wanted to hear that. And even that, they got like 50K views. And I don't even know if you peep the influence, like even the beat, Dirk and Vaughn took his beat. I don't know if they just took his beat, but bro, they used it after him. Beat, bro. I don't know if they just took his beat. I think that there was just a YouTube beat niggas found. That's crazy. They took his beat. But the shit, like you said, just got 250 what? To be honest, you really never know who could look at it. That is true, though. When I hear the beat, I know I think of Rock Guns. A thousand percent. Anytime I hear that song, mind you, it's a hard song, but the first thing I think about is Rock Guns. For sure. And that's crazy because Dirk is an industry artist. This this little Dirk we talking about. I think if he if he did do that, show some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah show for some sure. Love before we get mad. Type shit for yeah. Jersey get on. <laughs> for sure, like, nah. nah, for sure. But it get bad though. Nah, for real, man. But shit again. I ain't gonna hold you. I I, I think we should kick it off to an, another Jersey legend in his rap shit. Mind you, he was young too. We trying to tell my show like it's possible for a nigga to change. Either way, you stuck with me. <laughs> Girl, you stuck with me. Stuck. Me and my bitch might dip and die, but she know she stuck with me. And I like my bitch with tits and ass, don't mean to be specific. And she said she like my drip, my splash, she call that shit Pacific. Said I'm deep up in that ocean, I think God I'm flowing. Me and my bitch might dip and die, but she know she stuck with me. And I like my bitch with tits and ass, don't mean to be specific. And she said she like my drip, my splash, she call that shit Pacific. Said I'm deep up in that ocean, I think God I'm flowing. I can't lose you that. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like we said about the last two, that boy Z Z Izzy G was special, bro. That was fire. Yeah, that boy Z Izzy G was special. Mind you, at the time, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was put on to him a little bit, like right before he died. Right. And I think it was, it was something from Instagram, because he, he did a lot of like, he was rapping in the car, he would record himself recording, but bro, I ain't gonna lie, he reminded me of kind of like a Juice World. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That melodic rap, that yeah. slow rap, you know what I'm saying? You in your bag about your shorty, you could bump some shit from him, but like, he was another artist, bro, that was in a lane of his own. And he was young, bro. Yeah. He, and he found his sound so young, so it's like, you could imagine what he would have been in freaking two, three years. Hell yeah. You could tell he was still learning, and for him to be making songs like that, what we just yeah. played, yeah. is fire, bro. It's fire, so... Yeah. Bro, all these shits, talking about all these these names and these legends, this shit hurt, bro. Yeah, it hurt to think, because it's like, yo, it's what it, it hurts to think what could have been. Exactly, bro, because it's not just where they from that hurt. It's the whole state. Yeah, all bro. Somebody great, bro. He was great. It's sad. Mind you, we using a lot of these people young. He was 17 when he passed, but 17. everybody we talked about was or is under 21. Exactly. Every single one of the people we talked about passed before they got to see the age of 21. And it's fucked up because even for people who aren't musicians, yo, bro, we 22 years old. Right. And we still young. We still got a whole bunch of life to live. Right. So imagine that. 18, 19, you dying. Right. And you really got the potential to become something for yourself and your family, bro. You got, you got the potential to make a real name for yourself. Oh, for sure. For sure. So... I agree with you 100%. I just don't want to sound like I'm repeating myself, but it's just like to think about it, to think about 
And it's like we got accustomed to shit like this because it's like sure. when it happens, it's just like, oh, we lost somebody again. We lost that shit. Not normal. That shit yeah. not cool. Yeah. It may be normal like in other places, but it's like certain people we need to protect, bro. One hundred percent. Certain people we need to. They got a gift. Yeah. Like the gift is not nothing to play with. It's not no everyday shit. Everybody not going in the booth and making music like exactly, these people. Exactly, bro. Exactly. These the people around these people need to just start thinking bigger, bro. One hundred percent. But then, even then, I, I will, a lot of these artists got to think like that. But then it's like I, I can't, I can't judge from the outside looking in. It's like I know it's hard. But it's yeah, and it's like like we said, they dying young. So yeah. think about us at seventeen, eighteen. You couldn't tell me nothing. That's a fact. Yeah. You couldn't tell us shit. Yeah. So it's like you can't really blame them because they still learning life too. They was yeah. young as hell. So it's like, bro, the whole situation is just sad. Yeah. This shit is just sad. For sure, bro. Shouts shout, shout out to Zai Izzy G. Like you said, I ain't even I ain't even get a chance to listen to his music too too much after he passed. But from what I did hear, that boy was a star. For sure. Just starting. I I I, I wanna. I don't, I don't even got nothing else to say about it, bro. It's sad. It's fucked up. It's sad, bro. The whole situation, man. But it's like it's a deadly cycle we living in. Because yeah. I don't think I don't think we'll ever stop talking about shit like this. I don't think stories like this will ever stop. Sad part about it is you're right. Like, I can't see anything stopping this shit because it's like the music they make, play the streets play a part in it. Right. And the music got so, it got so worse now. It's like at a point, it's in the music. That's what people was tuning into. They they tuning into these songs for the music. They want to hear what's the what's the new diss, uh, right. uh, what's the next bar that they could sing. And sadly, I want, it's sad, but I want to hear it too. We all play a part in that shit and it's fucked up. But shit, like we said, man, rest in peace, I Z G. But sure. next, I, w- I want to take it to an artist that is pretty recent. I ain't gonna lie, it's not too long ago. He was another one of them, bro. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. 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 A1 mixed well with the stick uh-huh. 33 got 33 shots in his Glock Hell no, you can't bail from the A Y'all saw that stuff that's throwing the grams Just don't get shot in your face Yeah, we got the drop where you lay It's about to get hot in this place Y'all niggas be talking about y'all really shooters But we all know that that's cats And I saw that that shit that you said on the gram I saw you was shooting a hat And I heard a little Brody miss when he slid Well, best believe I'm doubling back Please don't tell nobody He got a him, but ain't never nobody I'm off them perks, them nanas I just caught a shooting on camera Heard you got a... Elzo was a different type of animal, yo. Don't get shot in your face. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Yo, that boy was different, yo. Fuck. Yeah. Like, another one of them that could have, like... Again, none of the people we talk about right now is just average rappers. Right. This St. Right. Lil' Ray Ray down the street. Yeah. Nah, these is really, like, yeah. artists with potential to make it out of these situations. Make it out of Jersey, bro. Yeah, and go far, because he was... Hugging on songs like that, like that shit is a classic. Yeah, yeah for that sure. That song is a classic. Yeah, it's cemented in Jersey rap history. Mind you, he wasn't even here for too, too long. Right. Well, he wasn't even rapping for too, too long. And it's another situation of me not really being tapped in. So when he was buzzing and lit, I wasn't tapped in like yeah. I should have been. Because it's like, as soon as he passed, now, you know, I looked up his music, I started playing his music. It's like, yo, damn. Yeah, I ain't gonna what lie. The fuck? When he was here, the only song I knew about was the song with uh, Terra G, No Days Off. Yeah. And he was walking that shit. Yeah. That shit was crazy. But it's like after that, they even dropped the... Sh- shouts out to his team, whoever he got behind him. They dropped the tape for him, Life, a- Life After Death. That shit was fire. Yeah. Shit and they dropped fire. like a lot of his unreleased, a lot of his hot music to keep... And this was, tw- this was 2021. Yeah. So they made sure to still keep his name alive, still keep his buzz going. But, bro, Elzo was... He Everything. was special, bro. Everything. Delivery... Everything he could rap, the ability to rap. Yeah. He was putting shit together just not on E. We pull up, throw it in B. <laughs> yeah. like, he was whack. Yeah, That's yeah. what he throw it in B. Yeah. Like, yo, bro, talent, bro. Another special talent from Jersey, bro. He had his own type of style, like the way yeah. he rapped. And to be honest with you, the way he looked, like he had the whole, he was the whole package yeah. as an artist. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm not jump, I'm not saying it just because of him, but I think we should keep it a hundred. He was kind of at like he was kind of one of the rappers to help start the wave that we're seeing now. 100%. Of like that jer- like Jersey Drill. Jersey Drill, for sure. But for mind sure. you, back then it was a little different. Like they, they, was, they wasn't rapping on like the throwback beats that we had now, but yeah. he's a part of the start of that shit. He started shit. finessing that shit like 
his way. Like he, the yeah. way he was finessing that yeah. shit was fire. Yeah. And nobody was sounding like that. So mm-hmm. that shit, rest in peace to Elzone, man. He was going crazy. Yeah, crazy. it's sad to see, bro. Like after crazy. he died, after he died, I'm not sure the name of I'm, I'm not sure the name of the song. I'm tripping. I think it's Boogie Boys Part Two, but. One of them videos hit 500,000 views on YouTube, bro. And this is after he passed. Mind you, imagine if he was here. And he got music that could bring 500,000 people to it to listen to that shit. Like, right. another star coming out of Jersey, bro. And it's like, to see Jersey music scene so lit right now mm-hmm. and him not passing too long ago, who knows? Like, he would be one of the top names, if not yeah. the top name in Jersey right now. To sure. be honest, it's crazy because imagine if none of these people ever passed, where they would be. Jersey would be out of here, bro. You, Are you shit me? Been over with. This is like 2016. Yeah, we would have been, been out of here, bro. Mind you, I know for a fact, I want to give a shout out to everybody that probably passed, in, well, that has passed in yeah. music throughout the years because we're not going to name it. We don't know everybody. Yeah. You know I'm saying? I just know what I'm tapped into. But... Jersey done lost a lot of stars, bro. A lot of stars. To just dumb shit. Rest in peace, Zeus. For sure, Everton bro. Baby, rest in peace, Zeus. Yeah. That shit was super sad, bro. Yeah. Not for nothing. Not saying we was the best of friends, but we grew up in the same area, same town. Yeah. The same school. So it's like to see stuff like that, that shit is sad. And mm-hmm. I'm like, like we said with bundles, Y and D carrying his name on. To this day. Not just him, Pluto. I hear it in Pluto music. Yeah. Feezy. Yeah. Bro, so it's like to see them still carrying his name, that shit is fire, bro. Yeah. That shit is fire. Especially Zeus, because I heard Zeus talk about it. I believe it was in a podcast. <clears throat> he was just speaking about how, like, Zeus was the one who started rapping in a group. Yeah. And Zeus is a part of the reason why he's still rapping right now. Yeah. And he carried that shit on his back. Yeah. You feel me? And even like you said, Pluto, YND and Pluto got a song called For Zeus. Yeah. So it's like you could tell that he meant a lot to them. For sure. So he's another one that, that passed young, bro. Another, another Jersey artist. That's the piece of Zeus. That's yeah. the piece. Um, Jacob Belly. Mm-hmm. Jacob Belly, I hope, I'm, I hope I'm saying that shit right. Bro. Yeah. I think I am, but rest in peace to him. Mm-hmm. It was a sad situation, bro. Yeah. Happened like out of town, but it's like rest in peace to him. He definitely was going crazy. Yeah. I mean, his numbers spoke for themselves. So yeah. Rest in peace to him too, man. Hell yeah, rest in peace to him. And like, like we said, bro, we, we not... And everybody that we may be forgetting. But it's sad, bro. And it's like, like we said earlier, it's fucked up. But we all play a part in this shit. Right. Even though it's not like we in the streets with these niggas. We don't, we, we not in the beefs. But it's like, we entertain in the beefs. We, we tuning in. This is like kind yeah. Of, even, right. if, even if it's not just us, but it's like that whole hip-hop culture. Right. Some, a motherfucker say some shit right now on Twitter or on his story and a motherfucker take it the wrong way, post it on YouTube, post it on Instagram, and you just antagonizing the beef. Yeah. Now a motherfucker dying for no reason. Yeah, for sure. And it's like social media made this shit a lot worse. Yeah, like a thousand a lot percent. Worse. Like yeah. the music plus social media mm-hmm. can make it a lot worse. So it's like once you mix, you mix either of the two with the street shit, it's mm-hmm. just, it's going to end bad every time. And yeah. I, I kind of try to figure out like where this shit started and it's like I feel like we got a lot of influence from Chicago. I feel like Chicago got a lot to do with this shit. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't wanna just I don't wanna give them that, but I think it's safe to say that they started this whole disrespectful drill rap Chicago. smoking on him, smoking yeah. on that like niggas is packs and songs That's what now. I'm saying. Like I feel like a lot of these states like us took that shit and ran with it. Yeah. Cause if we think about it, when we was growing up, people was was wilding, but it's a lot it wasn't a lot of this and the dead and this pack and that pack. It's crazy to think about it, bro, because even with somebody like Kwa Louie, I don't remember too much of that in his shit. You know what I'm saying? It was music. Like, it was yeah. rap music. He might have said some slick shit here and there, but it's like, yo, if you know, you know. Yeah. Back then, they wasn't carrying it like that. Right. But now? Now? All these niggas is feeding off that yeah. shit. Yeah. And it's like, uh, it's like, I, I, I kind of gravitate towards those type of rappers now. Yeah. But it's like, damn. It's like, cause I know, I don't condone that shit, mm-hmm. but it's like, damn, that's kind of what I like to listen to. So it's kind of contradicting, but mm-hmm. I definitely just want what's best for Jersey, and I think we need to calm down. Yeah, hundred percent. But it's like, bro, calm I don't think down. that's a, I don't think that's an option, especially coming from niggas who's not in the streets. Like this, this is going to this, this. I think this is like the responsibility of. Somebody that somebody somebody that nigga in the streets will look up to, somebody that nigga in the streets will respect, 
to be like, you know what, all right, bet. Like, maybe like a big homie or something like that yeah. to just bring all this shit together. Like, yo, certain niggas got to chill out. Yeah. But in certain situations, because I remember Surf saying some shit in the interview, like, it'll never be okay type yeah. shit. And in regards to, like, his whatever beef, whoever he beefing with, it's just like, it'll never be okay. So it's kind of like, if you think about it, that's kind of what the situation is. It's like yeah. certain sides, which is one day they're going to wake up and like, you know what, nah, I feel some type of way. I think that's regardless, though. I think that, like we said, not only even if it was nobody antagonizing this shit, there's no way you could stop somebody from feeling type of way right. if they lost their brother. Yeah, but you could you could make it worse when you putting them in a song. And you, you in no, 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 that or, definitely makes it worse. Makes but it's just like times certain shit, certain beefs ain't never dying. Right. Nobody gonna stop that shit. Right. Cause then the day you not you can't stop another man from feeling how you feel. Right. But it's like. For the sake of for the sake of Jersey and Jersey rap, bro, I hope that it does. I hope for some odd reason niggas could just I mean, for some way, somehow, niggas could just keep this shit in the music. And you, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, the really the only way is for our top artists, well not really top artists, all our artists who make music to really focus and get the bag and get the hell out of here. Cause that mean you taking your surroundings with y'all. So mm -hmm. that mean a lot of the beefs ain't going on because y'all not in Jersey. Yeah. How about you just go focus, get in the lab, get to the bag, mm -hmm. get all y'all niggas the fuck out of here. But you gotta think about it, bro. That shit hard. Cause a lot of niggas don't have them resources. A lot of niggas can't just say, fuck it, I'm taking a trip to Cali or I'm gonna do a show over here or there. A lot of these niggas is still in their hometown, still on their blocks. For sure, a hundred percent. But you gotta think. You gotta be like, yo, I wanna take trips to Cali. I mm -hmm. wanna be able to do all of that mm -hmm. shit. If you just waking up every day and be like, yo, bro, this my situation, it is what it is, then mm -hmm. you ain't never gonna get to Cali. You ain't never gonna be able to move moms out the hood. You yeah. gotta wake up with that mindset. Cause a lot of these niggas got the potential to do it. Mind you, all of the people we talking about, and it's like history just keeps repeating itself. For sure. None of this shit is nothing new. Right. That's why when it happens to a point, it's like it's fucked up, but it's like, damn, are you surprised? Mm -mm. You feel me? Mm -mm. If you look at if you look at the music and look at what certain niggas got going on, it's like, damn, like right. certain shit, not to say it's bound to happen, but certain shit just happens because of the way of the lifestyle. Yeah. But it's fucked up. It, 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 it ain't right. It's, it's not right, bro. It's not right. There's no way to justify it. It's just not right. And it's like something gotta change. Mm -hmm. If we wanna be better, something gotta change. But yeah. My personal opinion, like you said, I don't see it changing, bro. Yeah, at least not no time it. soon. But it's like, I commend uh, a few of the rappers out of Jersey that don't really push that too, too much in their music. Yeah. I ain't going to say too much names, but I commend, like I said, those type of, not even just rappers, just artists, mm -hmm. that regardless of what they got going on in the background, they keep the music to the music. Because right. that kind of helps separate some of them beefs and keep yeah. certain shit down. Because like you said, putting that shit in the music antagonizes it. And it kind of show your talent too, because yeah. it show if you can make a song without dissing. Yeah. Like a lot of these people, just you hear most of their songs, they just coming crazy. And I get it. <laughs> I get it. But some of that should be style. hard though. Right. That's fucked up. Style, but it's like, if, when you can switch it up and you could you could do other shit, it show that you're versatile. That's what I look for mm -hmm. in grades and shit. So, yeah. Just tap in with yourself. But I'm also scared though, mm. because it is like new generation of rappers. I really don't want history to, to repeat itself. Mind you. Because it'll hurt more now. No bullshit. And all the other times, we've had we've had runs, we've had a few artists that we could pick out the bunch. Like Jersey's always had a couple, but now right. this is the most hard lit artist we didn't have on the stage at one time. Yeah. Like Everybody we said from that motherfucking list could go. Tomorrow. Take Are you shit? Like, yeah. every single one of these niggas have the potential yeah. to make it out of these situations and make a legacy for themselves. And I don't want to see... I, I don't, I don't want to put R.I.P. next to any of them niggas' names, bro. Not one, bro. Not one. On the list or not. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Not for sure. For sure. Like, for sure. And I want these rappers to really... I mean, just look at history and see how shit played out yeah. for certain situations and try to just apply it to try not to make the same mistakes. Mm -hmm. Learn from other people. Learn from your peers, bro. Mm -hmm. Stop. Don't make the same mistake because it's like you you can't help nobody if you're not here. That's true. I mean, it's to be honest, some of that shit be pride. Right. Some of that shit could, de could definitely be pride. You know what I'm saying? You can't put certain shit down. You can't take certain disrespect. So as a man, I understand that for sure. But at the same time, like you said, 
you can only you can only move but so militant if you still in that same situation. If motherfuckers could still reach you, you still 10, 15 minutes away, yeah. motherfuckers still see you somewhere around, yeah. then it's like it's but so much you could do. But then again, sometimes I, I get it. If you don't have the resources to dip, what you gonna do? So it's like how and you gotta come outside. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not condoning just cause you don't have to come outside. Like not saying you gotta be ducking and you gotta be in a house. You don't have to be out here doing stupid shit. I don't want people to feel like that. Cause cause you a lot of people in fucked up situations. But it's like that shit is only leading you to two things. And we all yeah. know it. Jail or you or I mean you're gonna be dead. hundred percent. So it's like for you to logically know those two things and for you to wake up every day to be like, yo, bro, I'm about to put myself in, in either situation every day is not even logical at to a point. Like, yo, bro, you coming out here every day doing the same shit. You could either get locked up or you could die. Those are my two choices every day. And I ain't going to lie. When once, you, outside, once you have something really going on for yourself, you're absolutely right. You're a fool to be coming outside if you got... Especially a music career. That's you true. Be a fool. Yeah. That don't make sense. At all though. That's but it's mean. like I don't Preaching. really blame the artists. I blame mm-hmm. the people around them. Yeah, because you gotta have that right person in your ear to kind of like, yo, nah, you not doing that. Yeah, we not doing that. hundred nah. percent. Especially if it's kind of like, yo, you done proved yourself already. You got the name and respect for yourself. So after a while, ah, bro, stay in that lab and focus. For sure. Like, you don't you don't help me. By be, you don't help my situation by being on this corner with me. Yeah. You don't help. I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. You got the, what you say, your lottery ticket. You got the power to change that. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. He was mad as hell. Yeah. He fucked up. Yeah. He fucked up, bro. You got hella bread. <laughs> Come on, bro. You, you got, got the some power bullshit. to you change got some that cap. Yeah. Change it, bro. Yeah. Mind you, a you lot of these help. people, they are like, they probably one of the only people in their situations. Because right. if you think about it, I mean, even us, I see a lot of the shit going on in my family. Yeah. Well, like, not, not that it's, it's anything close to that, but I'm just saying, like, regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of these people have the opportunity to change their whole family name. That last name could mean something. Like, yo, right. now that's so-and-so. Forever. You feel me? Forever. So it's like, if you got the chance to do that, you right. You got, you got to have the right person next to you and, and the right person in your ear telling you, like, yo, nah, you're not doing none of that. You a star. Right. The right person got to preach life into you so you know better, like, yo, nah, I ain't going to hold you. I ain't, I ain't going right there. Them niggas bugging. For sure. A hundred percent. And it's like, shout out to a, a name, like a person like Fat Boy. Because you see, like, he's in Jersey, so like, often, but you you can tell he's, like, in and out. A hundred percent. He comes, but it's like, it's business. Love. Yeah. But I'm gonna get out of here. hundred percent. I serve no purpose being over here with y'all. He knows that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's and it sounds crazy, but it's like, yo, bro, we not on the same level no more. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's levels, bro. So 100%. it's like, what up, nigga? Cool. Get right. out of here. Pull up, shoot this video. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So it's like, to see him moving like that, I respect that 100% because he, he, he you could tell he care about his brand. And I think a lot of people, I, honestly, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how many people look at it like that, but I think a lot of people should aspire to be that. For sure. One day, because sure. he got the bread, he still shows love to Jersey. But like you said, from a distance, right? I'm not. He'll be a damn fool to be right. on his block like <laughs> right. he was five, right. ten years ago. What right. are you doing that for? Right. You got to look at like some of these artists. Got to look at even they ind- even the industry artists that they I mean look up to like a Chief Keef. Chief Keef ain't been back to Chicago mm-hmm. since. Yeah. And I love that so much for him. Yeah. That shit. Like never go back. And he don't even address it. Just yeah. like, like bro, I'm not going back. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Type shit. Like I get it. But like you said, these a lot of these rappers not in that situation yet. So they need to inspire to be in that situation. hundred percent. That's what niggas need to be locked in on. I, that's what I think niggas need to be locked on. The street shit could wait. I think 100% like that, that, that'll that definitely play a part in stopping this shit because right now, Jersey has too much talent to lose anybody, bro. We You're can't afford it. losing a lot to, I mean, being being locked up or whatever, and freedom, mm-hmm. free those people. I mean, we're not mm-hmm. going to say their name, but mm-hmm. even that situation, that hurts too. Yeah. Because we're missing a lot of gems right yeah. now. So it's like, just try to focus on the right shit. But I, like yeah. you say all the time, that shit is not easy. It's not, but it's not easy. Shit, hopefully something could change that. But I ain't gonna lie, like we said, bro. Rest in peace to everybody that we done talked about this episode and everybody that we did not get to mention. Sure. A lot of Jersey legends, bro. For sure, hundred percent. A lot of these people' names is 
cemented in Jersey rap, bro. And it was definitely them names gonna live on forever. forever. Them, them names was definitely gonna live on, bro. Hundred percent. Rest in peace to everybody we said, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, with that being said, man, you're welcome to another episode of On The Spot Podcast. It's your boy, Lo. It's your boy, Nas Boogie. We out of here, man.